Father God, thank you for waking us up this morning on today, Lord. Thank you for bringing us into a new month. We're granting new mercies, new opportunities, new blessings, Lord. Thank you for waking us up with the sound of mind and activity you use of our learning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for covering this world, our houses and neighborhoods as you as we slept through the night from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. I'm thankful that to be a servant for you, God. I'm thankful to do your work. I'm thankful to do your will. I pray that you continue to rise up strong people to be in your army so you can bring your mass. We can bring your master plans of life in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I'm thankful for who you are, not just for what you do. It's because of who you are that you do what you do. And help us to not focus on self. Help us to not pray for just that for ourselves, but for other people, Lord God. So I pray for those that are still in the hospitals in the ICU. I pray that you send relief to the victims of both the Buffalo and the Rob Elementary School shooting, Lord. God, you are still in control. You sit high and you look low. You are in charge, Lord God. And despite everything that's going on, Lord, I believe and trust in you. I believe that there will be an end. I believe that there will be a breakthrough. I believe that you are sitting at the right hand of the Father and inventing for us on our behalf, God, because you sent your son just for us. And I'm thankful that you sent your son, Lord God, because I know I'd have been dead by now. I know that the sins that I've committed, I deny I'm not deserving of my life. And I ask that every sin committed on last month on behalf of the world, we repent, God, and ask that you forgive us. Forgive us for our sins, Lord God. Push us to be better. Push us to continue to fall on our knees because falling on our knees represents humility. Continue to show us your vision, Lord God. Continue to raise up your prophets. You raise up your apostles, your bishops. Pull the cover on every church that is not doing what they're supposed to do. Pull the cover on the churches who was in it for money, on the people who are behind the pulpit yet doing sadistic things and, and, and crazy things, Lord God. Continue to pull the covers on the government. Continue to pull the covers on everything in this world that is unlike you. Bless the leaders that are in our government, Lord God. Remove everybody in that in those positions that are not supposed to be in those positions and replace them with the people that are. So great and wise decisions can be made for the betterment of your people, Jesus. God, I'm asking you to take control, Lord, and have your way. Order our steps, Lord God. Be a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path so we can see clearly what you have in store for us. In Jesus' name, Lord. I pray for new opportunities, new blessings for this month. I pray that the month is the month. This month is would be the time that all the homeless people will have a place to lay their head at night, will have a roof over their head, that all the unemployed will have a source of income to pay off whatever needs to be paid off, that student debt will be paid off, that student debt will be canceled, that any loans will be canceled. Let the month be the month that a person gets that dream career, that their music takes off, that their business takes off, that their books that they've written takes off. Let this be a month full of opportunities and blessings for me and my family, for all of our endeavors, Lord God. I know that if we put in the work, you will meet us halfway. So don't drop us now, God. Continue to hold on to our hands as we hold on to your everlasting arms, Lord, as we lean and trust on you, God, as we continue to look up to the hills of which cometh our help, Jesus. Lord, we'll thank you for everything, Lord. We have no right to sit here and judge and condemn anybody, Lord God, because you are the ultimate judge. Forgive us for our judgmental spirit. Forgive us for not being accepting to those even who are outside of your will, Lord God. Forgive us for letting the love of Christ, the light of Christ dim, but help us to let it shine bright in the mighty name of Jesus as it says in your word. We do not let it hide under a bucket, Lord God, but for all of the world to see. Lord God, thank you for this Pentecost Sunday, for the Holy Spirit that came upon them, Lord God, all over Jerusalem and everyone spoke in tongues, Lord God. Let that same Holy Spirit grant us that same power in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We're asking for a right now healing for those who are sick in their bodies and even mentally ill, Lord God, Jehovah Rapha, be them around them, Lord God. Be our angels, our protective angels that continue to look after us in everything that we do. Keep us from from trouble. Deliver us from evil and temptations, Lord God. Continue to cover us in every step that we go, Lord. Thank you for being our all. Thank you for being our first and our end, our alpha and our omega. Thank you for being who you are, period. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen.